globally, education is one of the strongest correlations to health. We decided that we needed to work within the black community to have conversations among ourselves around the state of education. We hadn't had conversations about racism, explicitly about racism in schools in that way in this community. There's an institution of racism. You know, it's not, it is not overt, it's not in your face. Because of certain legacies and things that have happened in the past, it has an effect in the classroom at this level. What we saw as a primary issue around education and the achievement gap was about the climate in the school system. We started going to the school committee meetings. We started talking slowly. We were raising concerns about disparate outcomes in, in the schools based on race and ethnicity. Although everybody acknowledged that it existed, um, they were uh, somewhat insulted that it was being brought up. Racism is not an easy subject to talk about. Nobody wants to contribute to it, and uh, to be unaware of your contributions to racism is, is uh, difficult. What we've seen in the school system is not overt racism or intentional racism, but when you look at the outcomes for our students, you can see that some kind of bias is playing out in the system. My nephew, with just kind of questioning the teacher's commitment to him, uh, the teacher told him, uh, that he, he was not going to be a doctor or a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And he's like in second grade. So if you're telling him that, I can only imagine what your daily lessons or your daily approach to him is. You need the data to back it up to show that it's a systemic issue. That's right. right. And that's the value of this survey yeah. and the results, is that we're able to uh, move beyond individual issues to the system's point of view. So we worked with the public schools to bring in a training course for educators and administrators. It's an introduction to how racism and classism play out in the classroom and in the school. And I said, it's a father who called who would like to learn more about what's going on in your class. What's, what's going on to impact the grade so negatively? And they said, oh, okay. They said, well, do you have any other information about the dad? I said, yeah, he's really receptive. So give, <laughs> so give him a call. <laughs> The second generation, okay, they became Irish American. The third generation, all white. Blacks have been in this country for nine generations. You Irish. I'm still a second class citizen after nine generations. Once people identify how they may be contributors to the difficulties that other people are experiencing, there's a flood of emotion that typically comes into play. Then they want to get on board for how to figure out next steps. The way we behave as teachers have effect on our student. The feedback from the teachers is incredible. They greatly appreciate the course. They think that it is incredibly important to continue Many think that it should be a required course for all teachers in the Worcester Public Schools. Black Legacy was very instrumental in helping us garner the support of community. The curriculum renewal process is a required process to revise all of the curriculum in the public schools. And typically that would be done by people within the school. Black Legacy felt that it was really important for parents and community members to be a part of those conversations. And a number of people have already signed on to sit at the tables around how math is going to be taught, how science will be taught, how English language arts will be taught. The relationship between racism and, and education is very almost overwhelming because you go to school to learn and then you encounter things like racism and it's like, okay, what do I do now? So me and a couple of other students are from a group called Black Legacy Youth. We're talking about what's going on and how we can fix it and things like that. Not just sit there and let it build up and build up until we do get into fights and do get suspended and things like that. Now we have a youth group. We pretty much help other kids in the Worcester Public Schools about problems that go on during the Worcester Public School activities in classrooms. I believe Black Legacy is changing the culture of the school. Education needs to level the playing field for people. Everybody should have choice of opportunity, uh, choice of college, choice of career when they graduate. We'll know we're successful when there is authentic inclusion so that those parents actually have power. 
The next level, the next indicator would be we expect to see the achievement gap close. And then we look 10 years out, we look 15 years out, and we expect to see the disparities in health outcomes start to come down.